Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful vest. You won't believe how easy it is and how perfect this garment is for this coming project. I made it like this in vertical and I made it with short sleeve, perfect for the summer and for the spring. I hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful vest with me. Remember that before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Also, I want to give a special thanks to Miri that shared this beautiful idea with me and I didn't doubt it to make. So, thanks for sharing and I hope that you like it. I decided to use this material in shades of blue and green. Well, let's start. Well, this vest is for a medium size, so I will use 300 grams of this material that is between light and medium weight yarn. I will make it in shades of blue and green, and I will use the hook of number 3.5 or 4 millimeters. So we want thread and wither hook. Well, in this case, I will use the hook of number 4 millimeters because this is how I do crochet. Well, we are going to start making a long strip of chains. In this case, I will make 82. Well, so here we have 82. Then we are going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in the 8th, we are going to turn over twice. And we are going to insert the hook right there and make a triple double crochet. So here we have 1, then 2 and the last two, then. Well, we will go up with four chains. Then we will turn over twice and inside this space, we are going to make a triple double crochet. Again, turn over twice, then take two, take two, and the last two. Like this, we are going to make four inside. Okay, so far we have three, then here we are going to make the fourth, two and the last two and counting the chains that we made at the beginning we will have five. Again, turn over twice, skip two and in the third a triple double crochet again, two, two and two. And we will leave this one here as the column, it won't be like this, okay, so this will be a column. Then we will turn over twice, we will skip two, and in the third, a triple double crochet. And then inside of this space is where we are going to make the shell. So we will go up with four chains. Then inside, we are going to make four triple double crochet. So as you could see between shells, we are going to make one column. I know that in different countries there are different names of the stitch, so please let me know how it's correct to call it. So one of you once told me that this is the triple double crochet. So well, again here, once when we finish the shell we are going to skip two and in the third we are going to make the column. So like this is how we are going to continue the whole row until we cover all the 82 chains that we made. Well, here I finished the row and we have 12 segments like this one. And we have to check before we continue with the next row that we have the shell, column, shell, column, because it happened to me that I finished and then I have to come back because I made a mistake. So please always check. And in my case, I made 12 segments. Once you are sure, we are going to continue. We are going to make shells over shells. So here to go up, we will make two, three chains, turn over twice and in the top of the first shell right here, as you could see, we are making this shell like leaning. We are going to make the first triple double crochet and then one, two, three, four chains and inside of this column we are going to make the shell so we are going to make right there four triple double crochet 
Okay, so here we have four. Then here we have complete the shell. Again, yarn over twice and we are going to make also column over column. So we are going to make this one and like this is how we are going to continue, you see? Again, yarn over twice and inside and in the top of the last uh, segment that we made, we will insert the hook and right there we are going to make this linen shell. So as you could see, we are going to continue like this until we get the long, sorry, the wide of the first front of our vest. And also, please, before you continue and you finish each row, count that you have 12 segments like this one, okay? And that you have shell, column, shell, column, okay? Before you continue, and please check always at the end of the row. Well, here just a quick note. We are going to finish here with four chains and also we will go up with four chains. Remember that at the beginning I told you to make um, three chains. We are going to continue making three chains here at the beginning and at the end of the row where we have this thread and we are going to continue with four in this side because this side will be the bottom of our front. So I want it to be a little bit loose. So let's continue. Okay, so I finished, remember that this part that it's a, little, a bit more tight will be the top of our shoulders. This will be the bottom and I already count. So we have 12 segments, remember, and I made 11th rows. So for me, it's perfect for the first front. Remember that we are going to make two pieces like this one and you have to check according to your size how many rows do you need, okay? This will be the, the front that will be inside and this will be the outside. So we will use this segment. We are going to continue making more rows to make the sleeve so th that's why I put the marker so we are going to continue with the same stitch coming and going making more rows for our sleeve you will decide how many segments do you need to make your sleeve okay probably you want a little bit loose or more tight so you will decide I always tell you the size for example this is for a medium size but it will depend also in you if you want a little bit loose or less. Well, so here we are going to continue with the same stitch. Remember that also in the side where we have the thread, we are going to make three chains to go up. And then here we are going to continue like here, making four chains with the same stitch, but here until the marker. Well, I will continue with these six segments. I will make approximately 12 or 13 a series following the instructions until I get the long of the sleeve that I want. And then at the end of these rows we are going to continue with the back. So far remember that here where we have this thread we are supposed to go up and start with three chains. This will be the top part and in the bottom we are going to continue making four chains. So for now let's continue making more rows. Well, here we are. Remember that we were here the last time that we put the marker, then we continue with only six segments and then we continue making more rows for the sleeve. So well, here in the top we made three chains and in the bottom we made four chains. So here in the bottom it's a little bit loose and here is the part where we are going to join the shoulders well, remember here I made 13 rows, so now we are going to fold it. Remember that this must cover your sleeve and the most important is that you have the thread right here in the bottom. So now that you fold it and you have the sleeve that you want, the white of the, the sleeve that you want, you have the thread here in the bottom, so now you can complete the number of uh, segments that you reduce okay so here we are going to join and we are going to make an extended double crochet so here we have the column and then we have this space to make the square right there 
So remember that we are going to continue making a square or a shells over shells, okay, with the same stitch, and then we are going to take back the segments that we reduce to make them. I mean, we didn't reduce, we, we just didn't take the rest to make the slip and to divide. So we are going to continue straight like this until we arrive to the bottom and like this we are going to create the back. So again, please count how many segments do you have in total. Rem remember that this is the first front, this is the sleeve, here we have the armhole and then we are going to continue straight making the back and remember that the back must be the double in size and the double in number of rows that we made. So if we made here 11th rows, well for the back we are going to make around 20 rows. But well, this is how we are going to continue. Please try on. Remember that here in the top we are also going to continue making three chains to go up and to, to finish each row. Here I will see if my model um, fits this sleeve. If not, I will make more rows. But please try on and make sure that these rows are enough for you or you need to make more. Okay? So let's continue. Well, so this is the first front, we were here, remember that we made the sleeve and then from here to here I made 20 uh, series, 20 rows, this will be the back and then here I put a second marker and then I divide to make the same number of rows with 6 segments for the sleeves and then from here I will continue making more rows and complete the second front. And well, remember that here in the second front we are going to make the, sec the same number of rows that we made for the first front and also we are going to make the same number of rows for the sleeve too. So here for example I finish, remember it's important that you finish the rows of the sleeve with the thread in the bottom so from there you can continue. Also remember that here instead of making 4 we are going to make 3 and here we are going to make 4 chains to have the bottom like a bit more loose and wide and the top a little bit more tight. Well so here we have 12 rows right? So then 13th rows for the sleeve, please try on and then we have the back with 20 rows and then again the sleeve with the same number of rows that the other sleeve with only 6 segments and then I continue the rest with 11th rows, the same number of rows that we made for the first front. Well, so uh, remember that here in the first front we have these chains here, so, so we can have the the second front the same we are going to make a last row here with only chains so we are going to copy what we made at the beginning so to go up first we are going to make four chains three and four then we need to make extra rows to so we are going to make three and then we are ready to insert the hook right here on the top of this first shell. Then three, four, five chains and we will jump to the next shell and right there we will insert the hook in the top. Again five chains and we will insert the hook in the other shell and like this is how we are going to continue. Please here in the side it's very important that you don't tie too much, okay, because if not it will distort. Then here in the bottom we are going to decide if we want to reduce or leave it like this. We are going to make here a single crochet row and I will show you. Well, guess what? I want to show you this mistake that I have so we can pay attention and this is what happens to me often. So the videos are not perfect, so look at this. Uh, this is the second front, right? So if you put attention here, we have a double crochet column in the first 
front we have it so in the second front we didn't so we are going to do the same and also I felt that I was reducing too much and it was this distorting the second front so here we are going to make three chains then we are going to make a triple double crochet here a column then two three chains and single crochet right in the top of the next shell next shell so once we are going to make again the column and we are going to measure again okay both fronts must measure the same centimeters and they must look the same okay remember that this is the magic of each project okay pay attention in the small details and that will make the difference so so far these segments are perfectly matching with the first front let's continue well here we have so far two fronts are perfect and here we are going to finish so please try on and make sure that all the segments match so now we are going to make a single crochet row here in the top I try on in my mannequin and it's too loose so I will make this row to reduce some spaces so I will make one single crochet here in the top then two single crochet in the spaces or maybe one maybe one okay then one here then one in the top so please go in order and always make the same number in each segment okay so I think I will make one in each segment to reduce the top of my um, project the neckline but please calculate how many you will reduce well so far this is the result I love it I think that we reduce enough in my case but please try on and if you need to reduce more we'll make an extra row of single crochet or you can make a row of uh, shells or any other stitch of double crochet or a crab stitch in my case I will make an extra row of single crochet with the same number of chains and stitches that I have now but here in the front and in the bottom I will make one row of shells and I will show you how I'm going to make these last rows for the edge and well here in the sleeves I almost forget we are going to make a decoration for the edge also please try on and if you feel that you have to reduce well reduce and I was thinking that probably I will uh, like simulate the same stitch that we made that could match better with the vest so let's make it well guess what at the end I couldn't make that stitch that I wanted to show you because I didn't have enough material left so I wanted to finish I give it a final touch to all the spaces in the sleeves in the front and in the top too so I made two rows of single crochet and then one row of crab stitch and in this sleeve I will show you what I made so you can make the same I made the same in the uh, neck too and I will show you well here for the sleeve I will show you if you need to reduce well you are going to skip some spaces but in my case I feel that the white and the size of the sleeve it's perfect so well, we are going to start right here in the bottom in this joint and we will make right here in these big spaces we are going to make one single crochet then two three four and then here in the joint a single crochet so we are going to make the same here we have one while we make this try to um, hide these threads that we have here remember to later with a liar we can mourn that tips so in each space we are going to make four single crochet right there inside then in we are going to make a second row 
respecting the same number of stitches and then we will finish making a crab stitch. Please make sure that you avoid this point effect, okay? Because if not, if you reduce too much of if you crochet tight, it will be like, it will distort the shape, okay? Well, so what do you think? I hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful vest with me. Remember at the end, hide all the threads that we may have and also iron it using a protection under very soft and gently. Remember that if you want, you can make this in a larger size too, just by making more rows and by making more chains in the sleeves to open more. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a like and to comment. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.